Welcome to Lego City! We follow Lego laws here! She understand. Sean loves Legos. He wishes he could be a Lego man himself. No problem. You just have to wear this special t-shirt. It attracts Lego pieces like a magnet. Attach a red felt square to a t-shirt. And attach a Lego label made out of white felt. Hot glue Lego pieces to Velcro. and decorate the letters of the logo. This Lego t-shirt is only for die-hard fans. Now Sean is a real Lego man. Working in a computer is bad for your eyes, but not when you have fun Lego glasses. Shape Lego pieces into glasses. What happened to my glasses? I think these are Lego reality glasses. Let me see. Everything looks way brighter and more fun with them on. Hmm. I guess I really should clean up my Legos. But where should I put them? In my shirt? No, that's a bad idea. But what's this? One piece suddenly got bigger. Draw six squares on a shoebox. Hot glue a piece of a pool noodle to the center of each square. Make it look like a big Lego brick. Coat the whole box with acrylic paint. All my Lego pieces will fit into this box. Now my room will be clean. The piece I need must be somewhere in here. Oops! My watch fell into the Lego trap! It will be a little different when it comes back. Hot glue square tiles and plates to the strap of a watch. Decorate it with tiny Lego pieces around the dial. Whoa! My upgraded Lego watch looks so bright and awesome! It's obvious that the owner of this watch loves Legos. My favorite toy is always with me. Sean doesn't want to share his Lego plates. Hey, you are so greedy. I need something to build my city on. But Sean won't let go. My precious! So that's how it is. I have an awesome idea. glue an elastic ribbon to two big Lego plates. Leave loops to pass laces through them. Attach the piece to your sneakers. Use it as a base for Legos. Now my Legos are always with me. They are a part of my outfit. Sean likes my Lego sneakers. He'd love to build something on my shoes. A Rubik's Cube is a very difficult puzzle. I need to think really hard about how to solve it. Where's my inspiration? Come on! Oh! My regular Rubik's Cube turned into a Lego Cube! It's a miracle! 
Cut small circles out of a piece of foam board using a hollow punch. Hot glue them to a Rubik's Cube and color them to match. The Rubik's Cube looks way better with this upgrade. And our Lego lover solves the puzzle right away. Bingo! It's time to take a walk. But Sean won't go anywhere without his Legos. Okay, I'm ready. Oops! I guess I should have closed the box. Redhead has a Lego purse for situations like this. Color round containers that look like Lego knobs with acrylic paint. Hot glue the caps to a rectangular felt base. Make the back of a purse out of another piece of felt. Join the pieces. Make handles out of ribbons. Make cuts in the bag. Put in a handle. And hot glue. Attach Velcro as a fastener. Screw the containers onto the caps. This Lego organizer is very useful. We'll put all the pieces inside. And then we even can bring the whole box along with us. This is so practical. Now nothing will fall out while we are walking. Sean got inspired by the Lego purse and he quickly makes his own Lego fanny pack. Glue a big Lego plate to a fanny pack. Heat an all over a candle and poke holes in Lego pieces. Put keychain rings with important things onto the pieces. Attach them to the Lego bag. Check out my stylish Lego fanny pack. Everything is right here. It's super useful. Let's go. Hold on, I just need to take out my Lego hand. Cut big cardboard tubes and cut out a piece. Hot glue a strip of foam rubber on top. Sew the edges of the foam rubber strips and wrap it in yellow fabric. Make two pieces. Attach a yellow foam sheet inside the tube. Oh wow! It looks like someone grew Lego claws. Another one? Anything can happen when you spend all your time playing with Legos. Oh gosh, what should I do? My head! Fold a piece of foam rubber in half and draw a Lego face on it. Cut it out with a utility knife. Attach tool inside. Sew the edge of the foam rubber. Cut out another mask on the other side. Put in another layer of foam rubber to make it 3D. Cut the edge, fold it inside and glue. Wrap the mask in yellow fabric. Stitch the neckline and put in a wide elastic ribbon. Wrap foam rubber details in yellow fabric and place them on top. Shape it like a Lego head. Make cuts for the mask in the fabric. Add pieces made out of black felt. Oh no! Sean turned into a living Lego man! Yellow looks good on him! Now the Lego man is talking Redhead into joining him. Come on, it's so much fun. We'll live in Legoland together. Choose the red pill or the blue pill. Redhead takes the red one. Well, that was very constructive. Redhead turns into wild style. 
Iron an old hat and shape a wig like from the Lego movie. Cut out an oval for a face, leaving bangs and front strands. Make separate strands out of colorful felt. Sew them to the wig, making big stitches. Cut a ponytail out of the cutout piece of the hat. Stick it into a side cut on the hat. Add cuts at the bottom. Make it look like hair strands. Wow! Wild Styles wig looks great on you! You look lego -nary. Let's go! We are heading to Lego City! Did you like our Lego accessories? Then comment below what you will make out of Legos. A purse, glasses, sneakers, or a whole Lego head. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so that you don't miss new Lego ideas from Troom Troom.